Just see one fix? He's on his kick. I haven't really had time. Um, I haven't really had time. Watch. There's a track event maybe though? Yeah, I'm definitely going to watch with the track because my family will keep up with it. So I'll definitely get some videos and a family group message with me. So. Do you know any of the guys running? Or are you against um, I know Devin Allen. He should probably win the 110 hurdles. So it's really exciting to watch him. Um, I know some people that are running as alternates, um, but that's about it. Four years from now, is that something new? Uh, I guess I'm getting some weight, you know, uh, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. How, how, big are you, sorry, how big are you now? You said again. Um, 200 pounds. So I'm trying to stay around there. Is that a comfortable weight for you, you feel like? Comfortable weight. I um, still feel like I can run fast with it. So if I need to take some off, I will. For you, what is the benefit of working track and, and, and also on the football field? Um, I think just kind of with long speed and uh, Bama, you know, we like to put a lot of man to man, so we got to run a lot, a lot of go routes. It's pretty tough to run with guys like Kyle Ridley and Ardarius and all of them. Um, not that fast, so just keeping up that speed. I know all the guys are, have different talents, but who's some of the best blockers at wide receiver? Um, all of them will, a lot of them, just about everybody can block, but um, Probably just strength wise, probably like Darius and like Kev Sims. And, what is it about um, our Darius? He just seems to like contact. He, yeah, he, um, that's one of his things. I think he likes to really take pride in uh, blocking. Like even on that Mississippi State one with Calvin last year, just the way he was just running down the field, getting that extra block to help with that touchdown. You face him all the time in practice. What makes Ridley so tough? Um, just speed, um, his ability to stop from full speed to just going zero speed and just stop him. What's it? Fans don't seem to want to compare him to Cooper. Is there a comparison? Um, I don't really see much of a comparison. I think I mean, every person is their own person. So, um, I mean, Cooper's a great player. Um, so is Calvin. How difficult is it going against that receiving core with all the kind of options they have all across the board? It's it's pretty tough, uh, especially you know they go deep one play and then they'll go deep in another play because they kind of switch out. But it uh it only makes us better as a DB core. Who wins more, you guys or the receivers? Uh, that's a good one. Uh, I don't know. I think we have our days. Um, some days when you're out there just dying, Kiffin just loves just check, check, <laughs> so another fade, another fade. So, but Kiffin out there, he just, you know, he's just mastermind with the, with the play call. And so he, when he sees you tie, that's mainly way to nah, forget the run. We're going to check. <laughs> so that's just how it goes. What are some of those running backs when you see them in the secondary? How are they to, to tackle? Bo and Damien. Oh, it's really tough. Um, it's a little bit different with um, without Derek back there, uh, but Bo's still just as big. But, um, Damien, DJ, uh, Josh, all, all the running backs look pretty good. How's the secondary coming together in these first few practices? Coming together really good. Um, Mink in there, we're, we're, we're getting our communication back to, to where we're always kind of sometimes don't even have to call and just, and just know that um, what, what's coming and just alert things. I know Saban said that Minka may have to play both corner and star. Have you seen him sort of take on those roles? He's he's done pretty well. He did a lot last year with the twos, but now he's going with the ones doing the same thing. So he's had a lot of practice experience, but he'll have more game experience, I think, this year. How, how difficult is that to do? Uh, pretty difficult, um, I think. I've never done it before, but just corner alone, I know it's pretty tough. Just knowing, um, having to know the same position, same calls in two different positions on the DB is definitely pretty Eight months later, and about how much do you still hear about the onside kicks? Uh, I, I hear about it every once in a while. Um, <laughs> sometimes I went to Hoover, ate dinner, and somebody came and shook my hand and said, "Thank you for the onside kick." So, um, <laughs> hear about it here and there, but I'm um, looking forward to, to this season. Not a bad luck to be to have Dota. Not a bad luck at all. Not a bad luck at all. Would you like to return kickoffs from the other team? Um, I would, but um, I'm not gonna lie, I don't. I don't know if I want to get hit. <laughs> <laughs> I do, but at the same time, uh, I think they put me uh, running down and blocking for a reason. So You talked about experience. You and Eddie are one of the more veteran guys on, on, in that secondary. What are you doing? Like, What tangible things are you doing to kind of show your leadership to the, the second rest of the secondary? Uh, the main thing, I just try to practice hard because um, I know the younger guys, uh, that's who you look to kind of when um, you're younger and you're confused with something. Meetings, you can just sometimes you can just ask an older guy a question and things like that when you don't exactly understand what saving means. Um, it's a typical freshman thing, not really exactly understanding. So, just 
trying to do things right that Seven teaches. So, so a good example. Is it hard to understand in those meetings? Um, coming younger, um, it's kind of just, especially camp, things start getting mixed together. Um, so, a lot of times, I would, I, when I was younger, I would ask other guys what, what exactly does it mean, or ask Doug or some of our GAs. How about Nugget? Did you ever, on that on second, did you, did you, you're kind of blind looking back to the ball, were you thinking anybody was coming at you? Um, no, never really thought about it. How do these first two years been for you? You go from red shirting to starting off every game match. How these first two years? Uh, it's been definitely an experience. Um, I, the season goes by a lot faster than playing, but um, I definitely think that red shirt year helped me a lot. Um, when I look back on it, I didn't know a lot of things that, that I know now. So I definitely think it was a positive thing to red shirt. And the weird thing Last is, one. instead of being the guy that asks all the questions now, I'm sure younger guys are coming to you. Is that kind of weird that you're, you're the answer man now? Um, it is a little weird, um, but it's just weird, you know, to kind of think I'm a junior now or a retro sophomore and I'm not really that freshman that's just learning everything. I'm more just figuring out little things that I didn't know that maybe just different techniques and other styles of play. Okay. Thanks, Appreciate Thanks, 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 Thanks,